back to Lauren's Menu and welcome for the first time if this is one of my first videos that you are watching. As you can see, I have a ton of food in front of me, so today I'm going to be showing you some of my Trader Joe's favorites. Um, we go to Trader Joe's about once a month and pick up a lot of staple items that we have for easy dinners or things to put into recipes. I really love the selection that they have. It's kind of that one of a kind feel and it's just completely different from your average grocery store. So I really like going there and wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites that I have. These are going to be kind of either staples that they have year round or something that they release for the summer. If you don't already know, Trader Joe's puts out a lot of different items for different seasons, so it's always fun to find the new stuff there. Um, but I wanted to share with you some of my absolute favorites that I've discovered either recently or that I've been getting for a long time. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started with kind of the colder food stuff that's over here first. That way I can throw that stuff back in my freezer and fridge, and then I'll move on to the pantry and other items that I love to get at Trader Joe's. So start us off, the cauliflower gnocchi. I'm sure if you've watched anybody's hauls before or seen anything on social media about Trader Joe's, you've heard about this. It's so good. It's such an easy um, dinner to put with pasta sauce or to throw in dishes. I personally really, really love gnocchi, but obviously that's a pretty hefty uh, pasta to eat. So to have this as an option and actually be good is really delicious. Um, so I love this. Next we have this chicken fried rice. This is really good for an easy dinner. Um, we love putting an extra egg with this. They have a couple of different kinds. I think shrimp and vegetable, which are also really good. We get at least one a bag. A bag of this every time we go. Another thing I'm obsessed with is their reduced gilt mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is my favorite food, hands down. There's no competition. And this is so easy to just throw in the microwave and it kind of gives you, it almost gives you more of that baked mac and cheese feel rather than like what you get in a box and it's just so good um and it's not too bad in the calories so for a good treat or a good side for a lunch love this and then the last freezer item that i want to mention is this uh gluten-free cauliflower crust cheese pizza i get two to three of these every time we go this crust has like cheese built inside of it or something. It's so delicious. I would recommend if you eat this um, to cook it like at twice as long as it recommends. I do throw it on a pan um, just because the crust is a little flimsy before you actually cook it, but um, it gets a lot crispier and I think it tastes a lot better when you cook it for quite a bit longer than it recommends. So definitely try this if you haven't yet. And now moving on to the kind of refrigerator things. I'll start off with uh, this sliced mango. Mangoes are super difficult to cut if you have ever tried it before. I just can't quite get a good hang of it yet. So I love getting it uh, pre-sliced here. It's a lot cheaper, I think, at Trader Joe's than a lot of other grocery stores have pre-cut up fruit. Um, so I really like this. And then they have other options like pineapple and different things as well if you don't want to have to do all that yourself. Uh, the next thing is this organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce. I believe this is the third bottle of this that we've bought now. It's just kind of got that perfect balance of like a tangy barbecue but also a sweet barbecue. Um, really really delicious. Put it on everything. Next we have a more recent discovery that I have. It's the first jar that I bought of this but it's the garlic chipotle salsa. I saw this in a couple of different people's hauls on YouTube um, and thought I needed to try it and we were out of salsa and it's my favorite I think I've ever had before. Um, that's a little dramatic, but I love chips and salsa and this is so delicious. I've gone through this jar embarrassingly fast, but it's really good. You should definitely try it if you love salsa. The last thing is two cheeses. Um, Trader Joe's has a huge cheese selection. It's much more affordable than most cheese selections you see at a grocery store. They have everything from gourmet style cheeses to just your basic cheese, all different flavors and combinations. There's different stuff every time we go as well as some staples that they have. So check that out if you haven't been to Trader Joe's before. Definitely go check out the cheese section and try a couple different things. A good one that we got, it's a Harvardi cheese with dill. Um, try that for the first time, it's really good. And then this uh, Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese is one that we get every single time we go. I always have one of these in the fridge. It's a really, I just love the combination of this. It's really versatile, can go with a lot of things, so it's really great. 
All right, now let's move on to the other side of the table. So first I'll start with these two spices that I have here. This is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. If you haven't had it, go to the store right now and buy it. It's so good. Um, it's great for avocado toast, just toast in general. It's good with cream cheese. You heard about it. You heard all the hype. Go get it. And the second spice is one that I haven't heard of quite as much as the everything but the bagel seasoning, but this, it's the barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic. This is a really good combination of flavors. I love smelling this and flavors and everything combined in here. It's so, so good on chicken. Um, it will probably be good on steak or shrimp would be delicious. Really any, anything you want kind of have that barbecue flavor, but you want more of a dry rub instead of um, a sauce. This is really good. So if it's still in your Trader Joe's, grab it for the end of the summer. Um, another kind of random item is this canola oil spray. I know this seems kind of like weird to have in a favorites video, but I found that this is one of the best sprays that I've ever used. I, we go through cooking spray like crazy because I obviously I cook pretty often. Um, and this one I just find it's really affordable. I like this canola, canola oil. It can kind of take a really high heat when you're roasting things. I just really like the nozzle of the spray on this. I think it lasts a long time. I've tried all sorts of different brands from the grocery store and this one's just my favorite. Uh, the next thing is not a food item, but it's their ultra hydrating gel moisturizer. I really, really like a gel kind of moisturizer for the summer. I think it's better um, than a super thick one that's gonna weigh me down. You're already putting on so much heavy like sunscreen and different things like that, so I really like the kind of lighter gel texture moisturizer, and I tried this, and it's really affordable and really good, so check that out. Um, another staple that we get every time, like I mentioned, I love mac and cheese. Their box mac and cheese is good. That's that. Uh, also, to pair with the cheeses that I mentioned before, they have their pita bite crackers. Um, they have this kind as well as like a whole wheat kind. I haven't been able to find a whole wheat kind in a while, so I don't know if they just continue those or they're just out in my store, but uh, I really like these. They have a good flavor, good crunch, good salt, just a great cracker all around. Um, along with that kind of theme, we have these organic white corn tortilla chips. These are my favorite tortilla chip ever. As I mentioned, I found that garlic salsa, this chip with that salsa is an ideal snack for me. It's just amazing. These are perfect. I love them. We get at least one bag. I get three bags if I, my boyfriend would let me, but that's dramatic, so I love to eat. Uh, next we have the organic brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta. This is a really good pasta substitute. Um, I really like this one. I think a lot of pasta substitutes get a weird texture especially if you like reheat them or whatever, they just get too gummy and they don't taste like pasta. But this one I think pulls up its texture really well in comparison to tasting like pasta. Um, and it's obviously a good option to be a little bit lower carb and at least have like quinoa and different things in there rather than just, you know, your far pasta. Uh, this item I love to throw in lunches. It's the almond butter cocoa bars. Um, it's a really, really good like sweet snack. I wouldn't say this is like a granola bar that you'd eat for breakfast because it is quite sweet and it's not the most filling thing in the world, but it just has that good balance of like chocolate and almond butter. It's just a really good, like almost like dessert if you're craving something sweet after lunch or even after dinner. Um, and it's also gluten-free and vegan, which is really cool. Another awesome sweet item for after lunch or dinner is the soft and juicy mango. Um, we had this and then the regular mango, they're both delicious. They have a huge, selection of dried fruit at Trader Joe's. From my personal experience, I think it's so much cheaper than what you see at kind of your average grocery store. So we always get a bag or two of the mango and then something else if we're feeling like it. So highly recommend this. And not to be corny, but I kind of did save one of the best things for last. This is the dark chocolate almond butter cups. They're basically like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but with dark chocolate and almond butter. And I love a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's one of my favorites, but this might be better. It's so good. There's only three left in here, and I'm really sad about it, but they're so delicious. I probably will get two containers next time I go. They're amazing. All right, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you have any questions on any of the products I mentioned or have any recommendations for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. Now that it's coming to fall, I'm definitely probably gonna do an updates video of this because I'm quite basic and all the fall flavors and recipes that are gonna be in Trader Joe's in the next month are already making me so excited. So I'll definitely do an update of some different items that I discovered for that or any other staples that I didn't mention in this video. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe down below. I would really appreciate your support. I do put out videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you turn on your notification bell so you get notification every time I put out a new video. I'll be doing similar vi videos to this, as well as meal preps, recipes, all sorts of types of things. If you have new recommendations on that as well, as I mentioned, I'm new, so make sure you comment down below. Thank yeah. you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great week. Bye.